coming to you from our GIS studios. I am Anisia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. The OECS Commission donated face shields to the Dimple at Louisi Primary and the Kamen Rene Memorial Schools to support their transition to the new COVID-19 safety preparations for the 2020-2021 academic year. The donation forms part of the Commission's Corporate Social Responsibility Commitment to contribute to the societal goals of the OECS member states and support OECS communities in shaping their shared prosperity. In appreciation of the act of goodwill towards alleviating challenges encountered by children of staff during the outbreak of COVID-19, the OECS Commission presented 42 face shields to the principal and staff of the Camel Henry Memorial School. The cooperation initiative between the Camel Henry Memorial School and the OECS Commission facilitated staff of the OECS to resolve the abrupt interruption to classroom learning. The principal of the Camel Henry Memorial School thanked the OECS Commission for the presentation. A film series has begun airing this month to educate the public on climate change and biodiversity. The Department of Sustainable Development embarked on this production to convey how the National Environmental Information System can be harnessed for developing scenarios in St. Lucia's future and planning for such eventualities. This web-based platform provides reports on the state of the island's environment and updates on the implementation of multilateral environmental agreements that the country is signed on to. The film series titled St. Lucia Into the Future will be aired over three seasons, each themed climate change, land degradation and biodiversity. The films present a baseline for environmental scenarios in St. Lucia, which can be revisited, revised and used to inform strategic planning. Project manager Daniel Gordon encourages the public to visit the NEIS site at neis.govt.lc and follow the film series airing weekly. St. Lucia, along with the countries of the Caribbean and Latin Americas, have been called upon to expand and invest in mental health services to cope with the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. Noting a mental health crisis in the region brought on by the effects of COVID-19, the Pan American Health Organization, PAHO, has been helping countries increase their capacity to provide mental health support at the community levels. PAHO's director, Dr. Carissa Etienne, stresses on the need for the region to work assiduously to destigmatize mental health as everyone who needs mental health support should feel comfortable asking for help and seek professional support where needed. PAHO has been helping countries to strengthen policies and services and to expand online learning for health workers so they know how to identify and support survivors of violence during the pandemic. St. Lucia's 311 hotline offers psychosocial support services to individuals during the pandemic. This has been your midday news brief. Thank you for watching.